How's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do pagination with Code Igniter. And I'm on my HS Codes uh, page right here. And um, I think we can just, we can go to the uh, main page here, um, slash HS Codes. And you'll see all of the data there, but at the bottom we have the pagination links. Um, this set of data right here has about 6,500 rows. So obviously we need to paginate the data. And right now I have it set to show me 10 links at the bottom. Uh, we can click on last here and jump to the last one. And you'll notice um, at the top in the URL, uh, we have 6510. And this is the, um, let me think, this should be the offset right here. And uh, we can go first and go back to the beginning. Um, if I click uh, number two right here, um, we'll see the um, offset is 30 right there. And we can also set um, how many rows we want it to show. So this uh, just took me about 10 minutes to do in Code Igniter, and I'm going to show you um, how easy it is to do. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to load in the pagination library. So you'll see um, in my index function right here, I have this low library pagination. And um, if you, unless your site has like pagination on every page, um, it's going to be better to load this inline as opposed to auto loading the library because it's not really necessary. If you only need it within one or two controllers, then just um, you know load it in line like this. And I'm also using the table helper library, so I also want to use this load library and then pass in table. The next thing we can do is go into the code where the pagination is actually happening. And the first thing we're doing is we're using Code Igniter's active records to set um, what rows we want um, from a particular table. And I do that with this DB select, and then I pass in um, all of the different columns um, that I want from that table. And the next thing we're doing is we start setting up um, our data array. So data, the base URL is HS code slash index. Um, I tried this without the, um, the function name right here, index, it didn't work. So um, just have that in right there, the, uh, you know, your controller and then the method um, of the base URL. And the next thing we want to do is um, create the total rows. And for total rows, um, we just go this db get. Um, this is the table I'm grabbing from. And then we use the arrow and then num rows. And that's going to get the total amount of rows. Um, basically, all it is is just um, the, uh, the number of rows in that table. So you can see it's about um, 6,500. I could find um, the exact amount if we use count star, but uh, we know it's about 6,500. And let's go back over to the code here. And right now I have per page. So per page, I have it set to show 30 rows per page. And you can change this um, to whatever you want. And then the number of links that I want to show at the bottom 10, uh, you'll see that matches up um, with what I have here. We are going from 1 to uh, 12. Um, sometimes this might not be exactly 10. I'm not sure why. It could be because I have too many um, rows in this table. But um, it will it will be you know roughly correct, and let's just go back over here. Um, data records, uh, we're using this DB select, and then um, these are well these are all the different um, columns that I want from that table, and then I use um, we're using a method chaining right here. Get we're getting it from the applied MFN table, and that is the um, the first parameter we're passing in. And the second argument we pass to this get is we pass um, the data per page. So in our case, um, this was 30. And then the uh, last argument here is this URI segment. And what this URI segment is, this is setting um, the offset. So you know we're starting off with um, the first row and we're grabbing 30. And then for page two, um, we also want to grab um, 30 rows, but we're going to start from the 30th row. And then in the third page, we're going to start from the 60th row and then from the 90th row. And so that's how the pagination is working. It's basically just um, using the limit and the offset. And the last thing you need to do is just use um, this pagination and then the initialize method and then you pass it the data. And uh, finally, you know, when we load in our view, um, you obviously want to pass that uh, data array over there. Um, so let's just go over to the view right now. And the only thing you need to do in your view is um, I'm using this table set heading. 
So um, what this is doing is it's just setting the headings on my table. Actually, this doesn't have anything to do with the pagination class. Um, but in our case, um, you'll see the way I'm displaying the data um, is this is within a table. And then we have the ta table heading at the top right here. Um, so the way that I got um, those headers right there was with this table set heading. And it just set some headers for our table. And then finally, we echo out um, this table generate records. Okay. And the records was um, that was created over um, in our controller. You see the data records, and that's set to um, this big long string right here. Finally, the last thing you'll need to do is create the um, pagination links. And you'll see here I'm echoing out um, div with the ID of pagination. And then I concatenate on um, this pagination and then arrow create links and then end the div. And the reason why I have this um, div around it and given it ID of pagination is this is how you can, well, you can use this as a hook in order to style um, your pagination links however you want. So um, you'll see that in mine I have some really simple styling, basically just made them blue and bolded. Um, but you could style those um, however you wanted.